Welcome to a snarky snippet, unpopular edition. A source for Harry Meghan has popped up again for the new year. Determined little wannabes, aren't they? Apparently, and I quote, they can't face being more unpopular than they already are. Now, you would think that any couple with the capacity for some self-examination would realise that sources leaking to magazines their strategy for the coming year and their hurt feelings would achieve next level unpopularity. However, they are oblivious. Common sense would also dictate you lay low, focus on real charity work, not just the tax dodge kind, and work hard to achieve something of value for someone other than themselves. But no, this is their plan, one they sweated over on the Christmas break, dueling laptops overheating. Megan said that wouldn't have happened if they got the latest ones with the M3 chip, but Harry was too cheap. And this is what they managed to come up with, having meetings with members of the royal family to sort things out once and for all. Harry determined to have Meghan by his side. Who's going to tell them? The royal family has moved on. They've managed for years without you and very successfully you were a mere blip. The couple, however, are convinced that this is an evil plot, a vendetta against them with the royal family destroying big brand deals. Meghan, Harry, ask yourself, if you were Dior, who would you like to wear your designs? The current Queen of England or the Princess of Wales or an ex-suits actress clinging desperately to an irrelevant title? At the time of recording this snarky snippet, I've been waiting for the little black book to drop from the man who used to on the island, and names are starting to drip through. It may all be a damn squib. However, we do know that some of the names unsealed will be innocent victims, and others not so innocent, who knew exactly what he was doing and did nothing. Those who chose to turn a blind eye, those who didn't report alleged extortion or their compromised position, those who denied even really knowing him. Leaders in all fields and from all political persuasions. Apparently, common sense and decency can't be bought. You can be at the top of the tree and still be a grub. I imagine many of you, dear listeners, wouldn't have given him the time of day. Is it really necessary to hop on a private plane and travel to an island for a mere meeting? Surely the only plausible reason would be a fun vacay with the family, you know, like the flight logs recorded the Yorks did in 1998. So maybe it's time to hold the bad guys to account. No, not like in 2008 with dodgy deals, but real justice this time. It is but a dream. Finally, Danish media are reporting that Prince Frederick and Princess Mary are at freezing point. One outlet noting that when they strolled past the press, and I quote, words were exchanged between the two, and it didn't exactly look like they wished each other good luck. Their gloomy appearance reignited rumours that their relationship is struggling, and the assertion from some that are cynical that the Queen abdicated because she feared her son, a playboy in his youth, was going back to his old ways. Or does this actually sync with the British royal family's recent experience, rumours and angst created by a jealous, seething sibling? Only time will tell. Bye.